Hi, and welcome to 3dmotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and I'm a senior modeler. In this volume, we're going to go ahead and continue on with the work we've been doing on this Vampire Stake Launcher. We're going to go ahead and create the Celtic Cross sites. We're going to go ahead and retweak the trigger guard uh, that we created in an earlier volume. We're going to make sure the smoothing groups are set up perfectly for that. We're then going to go ahead and look to copy and paste some of the pieces we've got so we can kind of kit bash some screws in. We're going to add in some beveling to some different areas to add in some edges to it. We're going to create little latches, things like that, uh, for some of our trap doors. We're then going to look to create the hidden housing in the base for the stake uh, that can be triggered out and, of course, that you can impale a vampire with. We're going to create the uh, interior, then we're going to create the exterior cap for that. We're going to do some more kit bashing, copying and pasting on some of the screws, because screws are going to be very important on this piece to make it look realistic. We'll then do some beveling to create some uh, a couple of the buttons that we're going to need. And then again, just some simple uh, quick construction edge extrude on creating the stakes, the spike. We'll use the same basic uh, shapes for creating the needle. We're then going to create the holy hand grenade and the framing for that. And then finally, we'll take a look at the model and see how it looks overall with all the pieces back in it. So thanks for watching 3dmotor.com, and let's get started. 